How's it going everybody? It's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys an early look at the upcoming collaboration between Bodega and New Balance on the 997 Sport in the Better Days colorway. First off, I want to give a huge shout out over to the Bodega family for hooking me up with an early pair. This third and final collaboration on the 997S model between Bodega and New Balance is slated to drop on September 25th for a retail price of 160 US dollars. Following two highly successful drops in 2019, with the No Days Off and No Bad Days colorways, this time the 997S adopt a warmer tone compared to its predecessors. Before we take a closer look at the shoes, here's a quick look at the box. These come in a Bodega and New Balance co-branded box. And then on the side of the lid, we have the two logos, so New Balance's logo and Bodega's. And then we have the size tag. And then the sides of the bottom of the box is done in this shiny black finish. Inside the box, they also gave me this thank you card as well. So it says Better Days Ahead, which is the name of the collab. And then there's an image of the guy riding the horse. And on the back side, there was a personalized message for me as well. Jumping back to the shoes, similar to the past Bodega New Balance releases, this shoe is also constructed using a wide variety of materials and colors. Starting things off with the toe box, this area is constructed using this beige or tan colored mesh. And then surrounding the front toe cap, this is covered in this dark gray colored suede which has a very nice, very premium feel to it. On the mid panel of the lateral side of the shoe, here we have this tan colored leather which has a bit of that new buck feel to it. And then stitched on top of this, we have the New Balance N logo, which is done in this orangey yellow color. Covering the middle of the shoe, we have this hairy brown colored suede. And then as we move on to the medial side of the midfoot, in terms of color, this is the same as the lateral side. However, in this case, the material here is a hairy suede. And then instead of the orangey yellow New Balance logo, on this side, we have a black and purple colored logo. Moving a bit further back, we have this dark gray colored TPU, which houses the last eyelid. Next to this on the lateral side, this not only covers the tongue, but the back ankle collar area as well, but this is constructed out of this salmon colored nylon, which has this bubbly bumpy texture to it. When you compare this to the medial side, color wise it's the same, but the nylon here is done in a smooth finish. And then on the top of the back end of the shoe, we have this dark brown colored textile, which sort of has this cross hatch pattern to it. And on the lateral side, we have 997S embroidered in a combination of tan and purple. For the laces, these come standard with a flat style light gray colored lace and we have Bodega branding on the lace tips. If you're not feeling the look of these laces, they do give you two extra lace options. So there's a purple and yellow lace, along with this olive green colored lace as well. For me, because there's so much going on with this shoe, I personally prefer the look of the light gray laces, but your mileage may vary. Underneath the laces, we have the tongue, which is actually connected to the rest of the shoe, creating this one piece booty-like fit. We have this fuse overlay running down the center, which has Bodega branding on it. And at the very top, we have this rectangular rubber overlay, which has New Balance branding on it, done in these very retro looking colors. Taking up the insoles, these come with this neon green colored insole, along with that same image we saw on the card earlier on in this review with the guy riding the horse. So the upper of these New Balance 997S's sits atop a very chunky midsole. On the forefoot of the lateral side, this midsole is painted in a combination of light gray and dark gray, Next to this, we have this tan color, which has the speckle paint finish to it. And then the back heel, which is the chunkiest part of the midsole. This is done in dark gray and it incorporates New Balance's end cap reveal technology. End cap reveal is basically a stiffer polyurethane rim followed by a softer core in the center. So as a result of this, it gives you a good balance between comfort and support. Finishing this off on the back heel, we have this loud hit of Volt, which features Absorb branding found across. As I flip these shoes over to the bottom, so here we have your outsole. So this is primarily done in this gum rubber finish. We have a bit of that articulated finish on the forefoot, which allows the shoe to bend more easily. And then running down the center, we have this motion control device, which to my guess, helps to give you torsional support and rigidity. So now that I've broken down the look and the technology behind this shoe, for those wondering how these fit, I'm a true size 10 slightly on the wider side and Bodega hooked me up with a size 10. Generally for New Balances, I wear between a 9.5 and, and a 10, and I'd say that these fit pretty true to size, but if anything, they're slightly on the bigger end. So for the normal 997, I also stick true to size with the size 10, but in comparing the two, it's a slight difference, but I feel like the Sport version runs a little bit bigger. So if you have narrow or normal width feet, I think you can definitely go a half size down, but if you don't want to risk it, I think going true to size should be okay, and if anything, you can just wear thicker socks. Next up, quickly touching upon the comfort on this shoe. Overall, I'd say that it's actually very comfortable, especially when you compare it to the standard 997. For that model, the heel area is very, very stiff. For these guys, it's much improved with the combination of end cap with absorb. To me, it felt much softer, much lighter on feet, and the heel area is much more forgiving. 
finally, going over the quality and the craftsmanship on this pair, even though this is not a made in USA pair, this is actually made in Vietnam, but honestly, I was very impressed with the overall build. Everything from the quality of the materials, from the suede to the leather, and then the actual craftsmanship on this pair is very much on point. I personally had no issues, and I was very pleased considering the price point of 160 USD. With all that being said, let's lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. New Balance has been killing 2020 so far, and this collab just adds more fuel to the fire. To me, this is probably gonna be my second favorite of the three Bodega 997S's, with the no days off coming in at first and the no bad days coming in at last. Still, this is based off of my personal preference. I've seen online some people aren't crazy about this pair. I just like the warmer tones on it, and I think even though there's a ton of colors on this shoe, putting this all together, it somehow just works. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Bodega New Balance collaboration on the 997S in the Better Days colorway. Is this going to be a cop or a drop for you? And how do you rank this one among the three Bodega collabs? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at esco8. Check out my Twitter account at sean.go and visit my website at seangoca so before we end this video, another huge thank you goes out to Bodega for hooking me up with this pair early. And for everyone watching, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next review.